Hi, in this problem we're going to be applying the concept of adding and subtracting polynomials. This is a follow-up to my video just a minute ago on adding and subtracting polynomials if you're not in my algebra class but watching. Um, here's the problem. Since 1970, the number in thousands of males and females attending institutes of higher education can be modeled by these two equations. The males can be modeled by this equation and the females can be modeled by this equation. T, in this case, is the number of years since 1970. So when I, if I put a zero in, that means it's zero years since 1970. That would be the year 1970 itself. Um, if I put 10 in, that would be 1980, because that would be 10 years since 1970. So that's kind of the idea. Our question, our prompt here, is to write a model, that means an equation, write an equation that tells me the total number of people attending. And that's since 1970, right? So T is going to mean the same thing. But if I want to do total instead of splitting off male and female, it's easy to overthink this problem. Really, all they're saying is, if I'm looking for the total, maybe I'll call that T. That would just be the addition of the males and the females all together, right? Which is a fancy way of saying, listen, I want to take this polynomial and I want to add it to this polynomial. The males and the females give me the total. Now, if you watched my previous video, then that maybe sounds complicated, but really all we're doing is combining like terms, right? So if I go through and I say, really, that's giving me 0.091t cubed minus 4.8t squared plus 110t plus 5 thousandths. That'd be the males. And I'm going to add together the females, which is 0.19t cubed minus 12t squared plus 350t plus 3600. I just need to combine like terms now, right? I don't need the parentheses, that doesn't matter, just like the previous video. And maybe I just get a calculator out and I go through and I make sure that I get my decimals correct. So what is then 0 0.091 plus 0 0.19? And that is 0 0.281, 0 0.281 t cubes. That takes care of this term and this term. As far as the t squareds go, that looks like it adds up to negative 16.8. You can check it on your calculator if you don't believe me. That's what calculators are for. As far as t's go, 350 plus 110 would be 460. Done with those. And then the last one is 5,000 plus 3,600, which is 8,600. So the total would be given by this polynomial. So there we go. We're not asked to do anything with it. We're not asked to find then the total number of students in 2010 or anything like that. It's simply saying, find the new equation for total students. So we're done. That's it for the problem. Hopefully that makes sense um, that's it for the rest of today. So that's pretty nice, right? And this lesson should be fairly straightforward for you guys.